Hello, my name is Daniel and I'm an engineer on the GWT team at Google. Today I want to show you a new exciting feature which we are going to put into GWT 2.7. The feature is called incremental compilation. So what we put up in GWT is now a mode where we're detecting the changes you've made and we're only recompiling these changes. This means that we can do much, much faster compiles. So let me show you this. So this is the application. I already compiled it up front. And if I just reloaded it, we basically detect that there are no changes to files. So we just skip the compile and we can do this in 34 milliseconds in this, uh, in this case. So let's actually go ahead and change this string back to about. So and now if I hit reload, we actually have to go ahead and recompile the application. So let me do that. So it just took about 800 milliseconds to do so. Actually, the screen recording software is slowing me down. It's actually a little bit faster than this. But you can make changes now to GWT code and have this fast of a recompile. So how can you use this in GWT 2.7? Well, um, in this case, I just have a uh, normal project here. And in this project, I'm using the Google plugin for Eclipse. So normally I would be going, um, selecting run as, and we can actually just do the same here. So let me show you the actual run configuration. Uh, let me make that a little bit smaller. And the only thing that's different in this run configuration is that I pass a new argument to um, dev mode saying I don't want to use the old dev mode I want to use super dev mode so I'm passing dash super dev mode and what this does it basically brings up this new kind of compilation where I just hit the application and instantly recompiles so with this change you can hopefully also recompile your applications really fast and you have a really good turnaround cycles in all different kinds of browsers. Um, thank you and goodbye.